Good afternoon and welcome to the CPA Ireland and Jabia webinar. My name is Caroline Maloney and I work on the business development team of CPA. Today I am joined by Owen Reynolds who is head of marketing at Jabio and Chantal Haynes Curley who is careers advisor at CPA. Um, for those of you who don't know, CPA is one of the main accountancy bodies in Ireland. Uh, we offer international we have a qualification that's internationally recognized. We represent over 5,000 members and students. We also have a host of flexible learning options that, uh, that basically allow you to study in the classroom, online classes, or and also uh, take online exams. We understand that uh, the past few weeks have been, you know, there's been changes in the job market and it has been quite challenging, you know, possibly to secure a trainee role. So we hope that this webinar will provide you with tools and support to secure a training role in the not too distant future. So if you have any questions during the event, there's actually a Q&A button that you will see at the bottom of the screen. Please type your questions in there and we're going to address them towards the end of the webinar. So now I'm going to hand you over to Owen. Hi guys, thanks very much Caroline. Um, so yeah, thank you all for joining today. Um, and I'm just going to quickly run through a little bit about Jobio and then hopefully help you build your resilience in your job search. Um, so in terms of just a little bit about Jobio, first of all, so we're one of the largest jobs platforms in Ireland. Um, we have over 20,000 jobs in Ireland right now. So um, we basically have four main markets that we operate in. We were founded in Ireland in 2015 um, and we operate in Ireland, the UK, Canada and the US. Um, we basically what makes us a little bit different is rather than just Indeed where it's just you're searching on a job board and you just apply to everything, we actually allow companies to showcase what it's like um, to work in that company. So we will have a team that will go out, film and interview people that work there and showcase the office. So it just gives people a bit more of a, an understanding of the business so that they can make a better quality application. Um, and then for companies, obviously this is better that rather than having hundreds of people that are just blindly applying, they get people that really want to work in the company and understand it a bit more so they have a better quality of application application and then for you i suppose for talent and um, the great thing about jobio is that once you log on and um, you create a profile you upload your your cv and that turns it into a bio basically um, and once you get your bio to 100 percent and it includes your picture and you can showcase some of your work then the benefit is is that you'll have one click apply which will then allow you basically to apply to multiple jobs at the same time. So we have companies like Airbnb, Slack, Ryanair, eShop Worlds that actually um, hire directly through Jobio. Um, and then we also aggregate all the jobs from all over Ireland as well. So if the company isn't using Jobio, you can still find the job on Jobio, click through and it will direct you directly to that company's careers page to apply as well. So that's why how we have nearly all the jobs basically in Ireland there. Um, just a little bit on how, in terms of how the job market has changed. So um, in terms of comparing March to April, jobs posted on Jobio were down 68% month on month in Ireland um, and website traffic was up 51%, which makes sense, right? As soon as uh, COVID hit in Ireland, a lot of companies basically paused their hiring um, and then a lot of people were laid off. So there's more people now looking for jobs um, so a lot of more people on the website looking, but fewer jobs out there. Um, now we've gradually seen that come back, particularly from May onwards, there's a gradual return. I'll talk a little bit more about that in a minute. Um, but another trend that we saw was remote jobs was always something that was searched and was in our top 10 search terms. But since April, since March, April time, remote jobs is now the number one thing that um, is searched on Jobio. If people put up a remote job, it gets more applications, there's more interest in it because everyone wants that flexibility and the ability to work remotely during this time. Um, and we're seeing companies that are interviewing and hiring more via Zoom. So you, some of our uh, premium companies that use Jobio like Airbnb and Ryanair have been hit very hard. They're not necessarily hiring much at the moment, but then we have other companies like Slack and eShop World that have actually benefited at this time and are onboarding and hiring people remotely. So um, it does just vary depending on the company. Um, in terms of the trends that we're expecting, we're expecting a slow and steady return. So um, initially when COVID hit, I think everyone was expecting like a V-shaped bounce back. But now what we've, the trends that we're seeing in the industry is that it's going to be a slow and steady return over the next 18 months to return to, return to old levels. 
basically what happened was as soon as it hit, department budgets were cut everywhere, not just the finance budget, not just the marketing budget, but all budgets, hiring everything. So a lot of companies have had a freeze um, and those budgets aren't coming back for the rest of 2020 or will slowly come back during 2020. So it's going to take 18 months before we're back to the levels that we were beforehand. Now that could change depending on if there's a second wave or you know if we eliminate COVID completely, then things could go quicker. But the forecast at the moment is that it will take 18 months to get back. And then time to hire has halved. So um, the companies that are hiring as recruiters and as uh, HR professionals have got more comfortable interviewing people over Zoom and over Hangouts. Um, the time to hire, once they actually make a decision that they're going to hire for a role, has actually halved um, from what it was previously as people decide, right, we're going to get someone, we're going to make that decision quickly and we're going to onboard them quickly because we really need them because we're so busy as a company. Um, then in terms of what should I be doing or what can I be doing right now? Um, I think that's the question that gets asked a lot, right? And we have a, a blog series on our website called Responding to a Crisis, where we've talked to a lot of different companies and the HR managers or the talent acquisition professionals in those companies. And we've kind of asked them those questions, right? And I've pulled out, um, I've pulled out a quote here from Gillian Skinner, who's in charge of graduate talent acquisition and development from Jemison. Um, and basically, I won't read the whole thing out, but basically she was saying, you know, now you need to, you need to use this time properly and you need to get yourself future ready. Uh, lots of online tools that you can use in terms of um, courses that you can do and, and things that you can use, do in order to um, upskill basically at this time. And then you also need to look at your digital footprint and make sure that it reflects your, your personal brand is more important now than ever. So there are things that you really need to consider at the moment. Um, like we understand that, you know, not everyone has lots of free time right now. You might have children, you might have other things that are going on that's taking up your time. So it doesn't necessarily mean that, you know, people are expecting you to have done lots during this time, but you don't want your answer to be, what did I do during the six months? I completed Netflix, right? You want to actually have, have show that you've done something during this time so that there's to explain the big gap in your CV that, that that's potentially there. So I just wanted to pull out the online courses spoke to me, the digital footprint and the personal brand. I'll just speak a little bit about them. Um, so basically online courses, there's loads of them that are free right now, right? That's the good thing about COVID is that it's opened up a lot of opportunities here for, for people. Um, there's a lot of companies that are given free courses, free webinars, free online tutorials. Um, I just picked out four that you know, could help you. Um, CPA Ireland, obviously, it's, there's webinars like this, which hopefully you're going to learn something. Um, and then there's lots of other courses that you can do. Udemy and Coursera are two sort of worldwide known sort of uh, online course providers, and they'll be instantly recognized by most HR managers. And like the course that you do doesn't necessarily have to be a three month course. It could be a one week course and it doesn't necessarily need to be in something really meaty. It could be just improving your Excel skills or improving your Google Analytics or anything that you want to do um, that you think will help you in your career moving forward. You could just do a one day course or a one hour course that anything that's going to help you. And then uh, finally, I pulled out Shaw Academy there as well, because um, firstly, they're an Irish company and um, they're a company that Jobio has partnered with as well. Um, and they're offering a free four week courses, basically on everything from digital marketing, through to nutrition and uh, mental health. And uh, what we've actually seen in terms of when we've um, offered these courses to the Jobio base is project management is actually an area that people are really interested in. So they can sign up for a free four week course um, and basically improve their project management skills. So when they go back to the office, that's going to help them. Or when they take the next step in their career, they're going to be um, more comfortable managing larger projects. In terms of your digital footprint, what that really means is like what shows up when I Google you, right? Because um, when hiring managers or when HR professionals Google you, they want to see what, what, you're at, what you're doing out there, right? So LinkedIn, you need to have a LinkedIn in this day and age. No one uses business cards anymore. So you should have a LinkedIn. You should be active on it. You have it up to date. If you're looking for a job, you're able to turn on the notification to allow recruiters to approach you um, and just be following trends that are in the industry there, right? Um, there's a lot of great content you can follow followers there and obviously connect with people that you worked with in the past or people that you, you'd like to work with right um, Glassdoor so Glassdoor is great because it shows 
it, you get feedback from previous employees, there's reviews of the company, what it's like to work there. And it's a brilliant community that you can dip into, but you need to be really careful in terms of if you're giving feedback on Glassdoor, make sure that it's very obviously anonymous. Don't say anything too critical because I worked in companies in the past where even though someone hasn't left their name or the department they've worked in, it's been very obvious who has left the review. And, and you don't really want to do that because that could come back to bite you in the ass later on. Twitter, if you're on Twitter, make sure that what you're saying there is comfortable because when people search you, if you have a Twitter profile, it's one of the first things that can come up. Um, and then your personal digital footprint, uh, Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, whatever social media you use, make sure that you have it as private. There's functions where you can ha set all these things as private so that no one can find what you're doing or saying um, because ultimately you want to make sure that if someone comes across anything that you do, that it basically, um, that they won't be offended by it, and that won't affect your application. Um, in terms of thinking about your personal brand, so like the best jobs are the ones that are not advertised, right? So um, I'm thinking of, I worked in Sydney for five years, right? Um, and my best friend worked in the finance department in a company and a marketing role came up there. And he was basically said to me, there's a marketing role coming up here. It hasn't even been advertised yet but I was basically able to kind of skip the queue and get in an interview for that role before that role was posted anywhere else. So it's always um, keep up with your contacts, basically make connections, keep in touch with them because you never know someone that you went to college with um, could five years later could be someone that uh, could be hiring for a position that might come up. Right. So like um, there about six months ago, I was on a call um, and who was on the call only someone that I went to college with over 10 years ago. Right. So like, Ireland's a small place, so you never want to burn your, your bridges and you always want to keep in contact with people that you've worked with previously or that you've gone to college with and just stay connected with people in the industry because that's how you find out about trends that are happening, jobs that are coming up um, and people want to have a good impression of you, right? So like if you've, if you've worked in a place before, make sure you, that you leave on good terms and if you, um, you know, if you don't have anything good to say about the company or the role, just don't say anything at all because you never know. People change jobs every two years now. You could come across people that you've worked with in the past. So you want to make sure that they, that you leave with basically a good impression. Um, and then just <clears throat> finally, in terms of your job search, stay positive. There are jobs out there, right? Like I said, jobs are gradually coming back online. We've seen that trend from May onwards. Um, in Jobio, and it's going to continue, especially as we hit towards September, we think that it's going to start um, coming back more, but it will take 18 months. But there are jobs out there, right? So I just ran a search on Jobio there myself uh, the other day for a financial accountant in Dublin, and there's plenty of jobs there, right? If you click apply, some of these will direct you off to the, to the place where you can apply on that company's website, and some of them you can apply with one click on the Jobio website. So Stay positive. There are roles out there. And obviously, if you're going to look, have a, have a search on Jobio, please. Thank you very much. Thank you, Owen. Um, so my name is Chantal Haynes Curley, and I am the careers advisor here at CPA Ireland. Um, what I'm going to talk about is the jobs market, um, how you can position yourself to compete in this, this market, especially given the changes that have come about as a result of COVID-19. So um, as Owen discussed um, just there, that the, the jobs market itself has, has changed. Um, prior to the pandemic, the labour market was historically um, buoyant. We were almost at full employment and opportunities were plentiful for candidates. And um, this has shifted as a result of COVID. As Owen said, um, employers have paused their recruitment process and also um, in some circumstances, unfortunately, had to let people go. Um, so it's no longer a candidate driven market, meaning that essentially the ball is in the employer's court. Um, that being said, accountancy remains a critical skill and opportunities for accountants remain very strong. Um, talent has never been more sought, sought after than in a crisis and most accountants now will tell you it's never been a better time to be an accountant and accountants will certainly be needed um, to guide us through, guide us out of, of this turbulent time. Some sectors have been hit but 
So for example, the hospitality industry, retail sectors. But what we're seeing happening is, is those in-demand skills are being absorbed into better performing sectors. So for example, there are increased opportunities within the pharma industry, health industry, tech industry, etc. So you may want to bear that in mind when you're tailoring your search. Um, in terms of positioning yourself within the current market, so the workplace has changed as a result of COVID-19. Um, over the past few months, the majority of people who are actively working have had to do so remotely. So the expectation from employers is that all staff should be able to work remotely. There's greater flexibility afforded to candidates, or employees rather, um, and there is more autonomy that's been given to, to employees. So with that comes um, an expectation that any candidate applying for the role should be able to operate um, remotely, should be able to de deploy their digital skills and so on. Managers are also less able to micromanage. And if you're applying as a trainee, you will need to bear that in mind. So what you're, you want your CV to demonstrate is your capability to work on your own initiative, your capability to manage your own workload, your own time, et cetera. Um, as Don said, digital footprint, digital skills are extremely important to showcase on your CV. Um, and also you wanted to demonstrate um, a wide variety of soft skills that it would be very important to enable you to operate work remotely, communication skills, um, interpersonal skills, basic um, knowledge of, of computer systems, accessing remote networks, etc. So it may be that you want to take advantage of those courses that are on offer at the moment, most of them um, freely available. Um, the skills that you should be focusing on, or I suppose what would give you an advantage in this period, looking perhaps maybe as a recent graduate, looking to secure your first trainee role, you may need to um, manage your expectations in terms of what's currently available at this moment in time. So perhaps consider other opportunities that might be available to you, such as uh, short-term work experience. Um, this will enable you to bulk up and, and um, negate any gaps that might be um, present in your CV as a result of this, this COVID period. You might want to go and see if there's an opportunity to um, undertake some part-time, short-term, fixed-term contract work, um, explore alternative opportunities to that traditional three-year training contract. It may be that you need to get a little bit of um, general experience, um, which will help to promote you um, above others in, in, in terms of your search. Um, Digital skills being Excel, Word, Office, um, and then obviously as a result of, of COVID and this remote working environment, you want to look at conferencing tools, communication tools, such as Slack, Zoom, uh, Microsoft Teams. Project management tools are always very useful to, to be conversant in. Um, accountancy software, especially Sage, etc. cetera. Um, and basic accountancy practice Things like general ledgers, credits, debits. So um, I suppose a, a fluent knowledge in, in those would help you to um, present yourself in a very positive light to employers. Um, as I said, with experience, you want to try to get as much experience as possible. Um, consider whether you're open to different forms of placements. It's all about bulking up your CV and demonstrating your motivation. Employers don't want to see um, a gap in your CV, which is attributed to, you know, um, a lack of opportunities available to take on a, a three-year trainee contract. What they would prefer to see is I, I undertook some um, voluntary work experience, um, whether that be for three months, four months, it doesn't matter. What that demonstrates is your motivation to keep the momentum going with the progression of your career development. Employers will want to see that you are capable to work within a remote professional environment. Um, excellent communication skills, demonstrable IT aptitude is very, very important. As I said, proven time management skills, uh, the ability to work on your own initiative is also important, but they also want to see some 
um, confidence as well so that um, whilst you are working remotely you would be confident in approaching a manager um, to ask questions and that is based on your interpersonal skills which you want to showcase on your CV. Um, Self-motivation. Motivation is extremely important when, when um, pursuing a trainee placement because any, any um, employer taking on a trainee that will require an investment on their part. So what you want to demonstrate is the return on the investment. And if you are highly motivated, the likelihood is that they will see that, that return. Um, as I said, confidence, comfortable remote working, um, remote computing technologies, and excellent verbal and written communication, analytical and presenting skills as well. Um, so just to kind of summarize what, what I've said, you will want to focus on the, the developing and bulking up of your, your digital skills, your soft skills, and you want to look for as many opportunities as um, there, there may be out there to get your foot in the door, get some um, general basic level experience and perhaps that could manifest itself into a, an opportunity for a, a, a long three-year training contract but it's all about bulking up your cv bulking up your skills and making sure that you're presenting the skills that are relevant for the employment market that we are currently in and a big part of that is remote working thank you Thanks, Amelia and Chantal, and that was some uh, really great insight there. Uh, we do have a few questions that have come in, so we're going to address some of them now. Uh, I think the first one probably is from Sh for Chantal, and it's, I'm looking for a trainee role. What is the best way for to demonstrate my commitment to an employer? Um, I think the best possible way to, to demonstrate commitment to employer is that willingness to keep the momentum growing. You don't want to demonstrate that um, I have completed my qualification. Now I'm looking for an employer to take the reins and guide me through the development of my career. What you want to show is that you're being proactive. Now, as I said, that could be in the form of the development of those digital and soft skills while pursuing um, as many opportunities for work placements as possible. Um, or it could be commencing a professional qualification so that you've got that side of, 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 of the, the next step in your career out of the way. Okay, great. That's, that's a really good answer there. Oh, the next one is for you. Uh, what is the best way I can prepare for a Zoom interview? Yeah, great question. It's a question that gets asked all the time, actually. Um, like I said earlier, we have a, a series on the Jobio blog where we ask HR professionals this. Um, and they all basically said the same thing, prepare as if you would for a face-to-face -face interview, right? So like dress the way you would if you were going for a face-to-face -face interview. So you put a shirt on or put a suit on if, if that's what you think you need. Um, prepare beforehand, right? Figure out about who you're gonna be meeting. Um, look them up on LinkedIn, Find see if you have any common ground with them so that you know who you're gonna be looking at on a screen. Um, get water so that because you're going to need water because you're probably going to be talking quite a bit um, and then prepare beforehand right so check the link works beforehand check that your tech works beforehand uh, is the lighting good speak to everyone else in your house let them know that you're going to be doing an interview at a certain time so that no one unexpectedly walks into the room or starts doing the hoovering um, obviously it's difficult to connect with people over a video but um, when you do all these things then it, it just makes it more likely that um, you know, that you can connect and basically have, have a good interview. Brilliant, thanks, Adam. Uh, the next one, I think, possibly for Chantel, is how can I approach securing an accountancy internship? Um, I'm sure as um, you will have gathered, the message at the moment is that it is more difficult, obviously, given the current employment market, to secure a trainee position. So you want to think strategically in terms of how you will go about that. Um, my advice would be to get your foot in the door. Um, that might be, as I said, um, voluntarily to um, give the employer a chance to get to know you, get to know how dedicated, motivated and capable you are. 
um, and in all likelihood, once they're in a position to do so, then they would be um, offering you a, a placement. Um, alternatively, as I have said, it would be a good idea to um, take that next step in, in the development of your career because in doing so, you're demonstrating how serious you are about pursuing a career in accountancy. So if you were to take the initiative to start your studies now, it would demonstrate that you know, you're keeping that momentum the momentum going. Okay, brilliant, thank you. And the last one now we're going to look at is probably this one is for Owen, and it's how many trainee accountant positions have been advertised on Jobio in recent months? Yeah, so I mean, like I said earlier, there's kind of a mix on Jobio between companies that are hiring on Jobio, and then we aggregate jobs from all over the internet as well. So like PwC is one of our big clients. Um, and when I looked the other day, I think they had 700 roles available across the UK and Ireland. So the big companies are still hiring, but then like we have the small companies as well that are looking for one trainee accountant in Waterford or something. Um, they're on Jobio as well. Um, like I spoke about earlier, budgets have been reduced, but the first place budgets are going to come back is in the finance department because they're the most important ones because they control the money, right? Um, so that's what's going to come back first um, and there are trainee accounting roles there right now and there will be moving into the future as well. Um, I think I saw another question on the Q&A was around me speaking too quickly so apologies for that but hopefully the guys will um, make the slides available afterwards as well and if you have any questions you can shoot them through to me on at jobio.com as well. Great, Thank, thanks a million Owen, uh, thanks to Chantelle as well, some really good tips and tricks there to help you secure a trainee role. I also wanted to thank Sinead Adam Fair, who's been working in the background and just basically thank you for everyone for, for logging on today and joining us and really looking forward to connecting with you all soon.